Hi, my name is Mike Flanagan, and I have the pleasure of serving as a National Academic Advisor for Renaissance Learning. So we always begin with our mission, which is to accelerate learning for all children and adults of all ability levels and ethnic and social backgrounds worldwide. Now we're going to go into Freckle Live here in just a minute, but I just wanted to outline briefly what it is. So Freckle is a tool that can truly differentiate practice and instruction for all students, regardless of ability levels. And and so really what this means is it's got a variety of applications from independent practice at a student's level to targeted work, maybe with groups or with individual students. Of course, we can use it for just-in-time acceleration in a variety of different applications, all the way to homework that will help support your core curriculum. So Preckle is not really meant to be a substitution for any curriculum or any other tool. It's used in conjunction to be able to deliver the content at the just right time for every single student. So here's how it works. It's going to use the results from the REN360 assessment tool to automatically place students into a pathway. That pathway will adapt as students get answers correct or need scaffolded supports, ultimately maybe not yet mastering that material and needing to be bumped to another level. Now, a lot of tools out there in the market are going to use a placement to put students into a pathway that then keeps them there forever and ever and ever until they complete that unit. So so to speak. And that's not the way the freckle behaves. We're going to use that REN360 assessment to initially place the students and then it will adapt as they move along as we learn more about their proficiency within and among domains and TEKS. Therefore, they're going to be having that standards aligned practice based on the TEKS and then we can see some great reporting based on proficiency and disposition, which is essentially going to be how much time they were in the system. Now, what's important is that we have foster engagement. And how can we foster engagement if this is a one size fits all? We just can't. So we make sure that it's a personalized experience at the K2 band as the 3-5 band, and then a much more mature experience for grades six and above so that engagement isn't an issue. Speaking of engagement, when they're in Freckle, there are two ways to be engaged. The first is that placement into their individual pathway. And this is the pathway that's going to adapt as they go along, continuing to learn everything about the student as they roll through the domains and even focus on the same exact focus skills that are already in the REN360 assessment software. Or teachers can choose to target particular assignments. And these targeted assignments are going to be based on the TEKS. Go through, search for the TEKS, search for the focus skills within the TEKS, assign that material to the student or to the group or to the whole class, and they should complete that work before they go back into their adaptive pathway. In fact, the teacher can even choose to make sure that they complete that work before they go back into their adaptive pathway. But what is this all worth if we don't get the data that's going to be actionable? So we're going to really give you a number of key reports both at the teacher level and of course at the administrative level to make some decisions. Now again, I can't underscore enough that we have to be more efficient in order to be more effective, especially now after two years of a global pandemic. So what we're going to include automatically is this ability to search by the focus skills. Those are the skills that are the most interconnected or the prerequisites to the prerequisites. And those skills come straight from the REN 360 assessment. So when the teachers identify what skills the students are ready to learn next, ABC, they can go into Freckle and automatically assign those to students by searching by the TEAK. So let's take a look at what this looks like. So very, very brief overview here of what this looks like for teacher. Of course, this would take much more time and we'd love to, to show you this in demo mode uh, down the road, but teachers would be hovering over what's called an activity feed here, which is going to show scores by proficiency and also by disposition, which would be the time practice. Now, this is very drillable, so the teacher can just simply click on the carrot and it's going to show every single assignment, both adaptive and targeted, and drilling down all the into the exact answers the student is giving freckle thus allowing for great conversations down the road now i really wanted to just show you how you target specific teaks and assignments for students so let's go into math here and within math by the way for targeted and adaptive there are printables for everything so this gives the teachers the great ability if there's going to be an internet connectivity issue or otherwise to be able to generate a principle for that we're not going to do that today though 
we're going to go in by standard and we are going to search for let's say fifth grade and let's say it's a seventh grade student needing a tier two intervention and that student is in fifth grade which by the way this can be used for any level of rti or mtss it could be used for tier zero which is core instruction tier one where we're modifying some things a more intense tier two intervention or of course a very intense tier three intervention that we then want to go back into the progress monitoring tool and run 360 and measure later but let's say this student is a seventh grader and they're really working at the fifth grade level as identified by the ren 360 we can go in we can show only the focus skills we see these are all skills that the students are ready to learn next and so then clicking on that we can go in and assign some targeted practice to the student or students so we can select one or more all the way up to all students including the ability to see students who are not native english speakers still learning language or maybe be biliterate or dual language by nature selecting the teaks the focus skills and then we get to design this assignment either by mini ticket three questions or a five question or a ten question we can go through we can see the assignment we can change it up and then we can actually use the adaptive pathway information to be able to provide support settings, meaning students that have not yet met this level of targeted assignment in their own individual adaptive pathway will automatically receive a support scaffolded video upon getting this assignment, or we can turn that support on for all students or negate it at that point, assign this immediately or down the road, which will then show up not only on our assignment page as an assignment, that we can drill down information about, but also on the student side. Now, of course, there are a couple different ways to do the same thing. So maybe we don't want to search by standard. Maybe we want to search by domain. We can certainly do that. Or we can also search by standard or skill within a high school course, or we can allow students to focus skill practice specifically, even all the way down to the very basics within math and all the way up to DOK and IBL challenges. So again, this is the 30,000 foot overview, but really what I'd like to share here as we close up today are some quotes that your own principals are sharing with us. And so these are gonna be based on not just math, but also their own experience within the Freckle ecosystem, which in of itself is part of the Renaissance ecosystem. But it looks like uh, the, the Houston ISD principals are loving what Freckle is doing for them. And we would love to show you this in more detail. So again, thank you so much for spending the time here uh, in these few brief moments, and we look forward to sharing with you more down the road. Thank you so much.